Okay, I just found out the secret to making yo-yos sleep for a very long time. This video would be for the person that throws their yo-yo down. Nice and centered in the string gap. But after a while... After just a little bit of time... It starts to lean, as you can see. The reason for that is just think about it. A yo yo string, it's pretty much just one big string uh, woven into one. Think about it. So, if that's the case, that means that. So the strings overlap each other, right? So then it uh, comes into this one little thing. So you open that up and. Why do you think when I let it go, it just automatically goes there? It's because it has memory to it and it has a force that is constantly being put around this when there is something such as a bearing in between it. Just picture my finger as the bearing. There is a constant twisting force on my finger. In this case, that twisting force it's going this way. So that would mean that after a while my finger would, the bearing would start tilting. The way you fix this, what you do is um, when you throw down your yo-yo, the string, um, when I twist this string this way, so if I take it and I twist it this way, it's going to start leaning that way. If I take the string and twist it this way, it's going to start leaning that way, as you can see. See? It's because I'm applying more force when I start twisting it the other way again. It gets back to its original state. Like, you just go um, on Amazon or YoYo Expert or whatever, and you buy, say, a DV888, a, re a really popular budget metal yo-yo that can sleep over seven minutes. Okay, so you go there, you buy it, and you throw it down. That was horrible. You throw it down, expecting it, oh, this is going to be awesome, it's going to last for seven minutes. And then it starts moving, so, jeez, I am... Throwing things all over the place. Dude. You expect it to sleep for seven minutes, right? But um, you soon find out that it just leans. So that's the way you fix it. You sort of, as it leans, you sort of just adjust that string so it stays centered and the yo-yo doesn't lean. Because when I twist it, it leans. You can control it. Twist it that way, and it will lean that way. It's because there's always it's because there's always going to be a force on that bearing. The string tension doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter what kind of doesn't matter what kind of string you have. Doesn't matter what kind of bearing. It preferably it would be better if the bearing was centered. So. Get a concave bearing for that. Doesn't matter how you throw down your yo yo, doesn't matter how off center or how tilted it is, um, you can fix it. But if I were to keep this spinning, this thing would, this video would last like eight minutes long. So a lot of people like to um, take the yo yo and they like to touch it on the side. And that makes it lean. Uh, that automatically corrects the leaning too. But that slows down the yo-yo and you don't want that. This doesn't really slow down the yo-yo. So this is perfect right now. So I'm going to make it spin out. Just with this simple twist of the string.
There you go. That's the secret. <laughs> That's how you uh, make a yo-yo sleep for minutes on end. It works. It really works. Numb. See how I just threw it and so tilted. But if I start twisting it, bam, it's back on track. And that is how you do it.